In this video, I'll show you how to create additional timeline views in your projects. You know, one of the great features that was introduced in Microsoft Project years ago is the timeline view. It graphically displays important items in your project schedule. But what many people don't realize is that you can create additional timeline views and use them as you need in your projects. So in this video, I'll show you how to do that. So let's get started. I remember how happy I was when Microsoft introduced the new timeline view in the 2010 version of Microsoft Project. By the way, if you want to use this timeline view, you first need to display the Gantt with timeline view by right mouse clicking anywhere in the white or gray part of the Gantt chart screen and then selecting the Show Timeline item in the shortcut menu. After doing that, you'll probably also want to increase the height of the timeline pane as well. Notice in my timeline view for this project, I've actually displayed the summary tasks that represent the phase and deliverable sections of the project but I've also done something special as well. I've added one detailed task as a callout below the timeline bar. That is an important change control task to this project, and I wanted it to stand out for reporting purposes. So here are my requirements. I want to create a new timeline view that will display all of the high-level milestones for this project. There's actually two ways to do that. I'm going to show you both methods. The first method is to create an entirely new timeline view. To do this, click anywhere in the timeline pane to activate the pane, then click the Timeline Format Ribbon tab to display that ribbon. Over at the far right end of the ribbon, click the Timeline Pick List button and choose the More Views item. In the More Views dialog, click the button called New. And in the Define New View dialog, leave the default option selected and click the OK button. In the View Definition dialog, enter a name for your custom view. In my case, I just like to call this the Milestones view. Then click the Screen Pick List button and choose the Timeline item to create a brand new timeline view. Click the OK button and then click the Apply button. Now, Microsoft Project will give you a really short little blank timeline view, so you'll probably want to increase the height of that pane. Here are my requirements. The first thing is I don't want this blank bar. I think that looks kind of ugly. So I'd like to put something in it that is attractive. Here's how to do that. I'm going to right mouse click on the Project Summary task, also known as Row 0 or Task 0, and I'll select Add to Timeline from the shortcut menu. There, that bar fills the whole timeline. That looks pretty good. Next, I'll click once again in the Timeline pane to activate it. I'll go to the Timeline Format Ribbon tab, and then in the middle of the ribbon, I'll click the button called existing tasks. The thing I really like about this Add Tasks to Timeline dialog is it's really easy to select the tasks I want added to the default timeline view or the current timeline view that is displayed. 
So in my case, here's what I want. I want the milestone called pre-renovation complete. I want carpentry complete. I want electrical complete, plumbing complete. I want telecommunications complete, construction complete, furnish complete, renovation complete, and I want post-renovation complete. When I click the OK button, holy, Microsoft holy. Project displays my updated custom timeline view with the milestones I wanted displayed. The only trouble is some of the milestones are overlapping other ones. For example, plumbing complete is overlapping two other milestones. That's a real easy fix though. I'm just going to grab that milestone by clicking and holding. I'll drag up on the screen and I'll drop it there. Also, construction complete is covering up something. I can't even see what's underneath it. So I'll grab construction complete, drag it up to the top, drop it there. Oh, it was telecommunications complete. See, there it is. And then post renovation complete. It's also partially covering up renovation complete. So I'll go ahead and drag it up to the top too. So far, so good. Now, the other thing I'd like to do is kind of spiff up the appearance of this by giving it some different colors. So here's what I'd like to do. I'll select the bar representing the project summary task. And then I'll click the background color, pick list button. And I'm going to choose a pretty color. I like this light green color. Oh, that looks nice. Then the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to color all of the milestones, both the names and the dates, with a different color other than black. So here's how I can do that rapidly. I'll click the Textiles button at the left end of the ribbon. Then in the Textiles dialog, I'll click the Item to Change Pick List, and I'll first choose Milestone Name. I'm going to choose bold based font style and I'm going to select the same light green color. Next, I'll click the item to change pick list button and I'll choose milestone date. And then finally, I'll click the color pick list and choose the same light green color. When I click the OK button, look at that. Wow, that looks nice, very attractive. But there's one more thing I'd like to do. I'd like to get rid of these date tick marks running across the top of the timeline bar. Here's how to remove them. I need to click the date format, pick list button, and way down at the bottom of the menu in the show hide section, I simply need to deselect time scale. There. That's my completed custom timeline view. It stands alone as its own view. So if I want to switch back and forth between the default timeline view and my custom view, at the right end of the ribbon, I need to click the timeline pick list button where I can see the built-in timeline view. There's what I started with and I can display the custom milestones view as well. So that's the first method for creating a custom timeline view. I've returned to the default timeline view, and now I want to show you the second method for creating a new timeline view, which is actually just adding a new timeline bar below the default timeline bar, and then adding the tasks to it, which I'd like to display. Now, let me caution you, before you attempt to do this, I would strongly recommend that you dramatically increase the height of the timeline pane. Once you've done that, click anywhere in the timeline pane to activate it. Then click the Timeline Format Ribbon tab to display that ribbon if necessary. In the middle of the ribbon, 
click the Timeline Bar button. Microsoft Project will add a new blank Timeline Bar ready for you to add tasks to. Now, please understand that before you attempt to add any tasks to the new blank Timeline Bar, you actually need to click anywhere in that bar to pre-select it. Then you can go back to the Existing Tasks button, and in the Add Tasks to Timeline dialog, you can add all of the tasks you would like to see in the selected timeline bar. So for example, I want carpentry complete, electrical complete, plumbing complete, telecommunications and construction complete, furnish complete, re, uh, the renovation complete, and also post renovation complete. When I click the OK button, notice that Microsoft Project adds all those tasks to the selected timeline bar, which would be my custom timeline bar. Now, after you've done this, then you can go ahead and do the formatting of your new timeline bar just the way I showed you in the first half of the video. I won't repeat that process. At this point, you already know how to do that formatting. You can now see in the timeline pane that I've completely formatted the second timeline bar with that light green background color and the font color as well. If you are creating additional timeline bars the way I just did, there's one final step you need to know. To use this feature, click anywhere in the timeline pane, again to activate that pane, and then click the bar label button over toward the left end of the ribbon. You can actually add labels to each of your timeline bars to give them a name and identify them. So for bar number one, which is the top timeline, I'm going to call that Phases and Deliverables. And for the second one, I'm just going to call that Milestones. When I click the OK button, notice that Microsoft Project adds the labels in the lower left corner of each timeline bar. There's Phases and Deliverables, and there's Milestones to identify the meaning of each of these timeline bars. So there are the two methods for creating a new timeline in your project. Now you know how to create additional timeline views in your projects. If that's a feature you need, I'm glad you watched this video. In fact, if you liked the video, put a like on it. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please subscribe and remember to click the notifications button as well. Questions or comments? Type them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.